close up, guys. I'm gonna keep this pretty close to my face. I don't know because I don't know if you can hear the noise around me, but um, I'm actually in uh, Golden Brawl Keller, which is a big tourist. Uh, not really tourist. It's a, it's a restaurant um, located. I don't I don't know if it's in this. I don't know if it's in the brewery or the brewery is farther outside of town. But take a take a look around. So it's it's pretty busy, and and and, uh, and, I, and I chose to eat here a because I was a because I was hungry and b because um, b because I I, I, I it's, it's this big fancy building um, that I saw walking down the street now and I wanted to check it out. So uh, what what I chose what I chose to do what I chose to get um, from this menu was. Spielbrotten, which, uh, if you speak German, you're probably freaking out over what I got, um, thinking, oh, we're gonna hate it. No, I know exactly what it is, and I chose to get it. It's, it's stomach. Um, and, and I got it because, uh, A, because A, it's, it, it, it's unique and bizarre, and B, it's also the cheapest thing on the menu that they were selling at the time. Um, so, uh, and I also got a beer. I mean, Getting that, not not getting a beer when you're in part of a brewery, is possibly a brewery. Uh, it's, it's, it seems kind of like a one of the seven deadly sins or something. Um, so I'll, I'm going to show you my food and the, and the beer. I haven't drank much of the beer. Right. Okay. I put my hand in the glass to show you comparing some how big it was. It's not that big of a beer. Uh, so, it, it, so this thing comes. It's the stomach, and it says it's well, they say it's wrapped in a net, but um, it also it also comes with a potato dumpling. And I'm gonna try the potato dumpling right now. Uh, I was gonna try and bite into the stomach, but uh, after seeing it, I think I will actually need the knife to cut into it. Um, so I'll try the potato dumpling right now. Might have to. potato dumpling right now, um, and I'm going to tell you how it is, and then in the comments, in the description of this video, whenever I put it up, I'll probably describe the meal, how it was, um, I, you know, my, my, uh, my reactions to it, I'm not actually in the shot right now, my reactions to it, um, you know, things like that, um, but, you know, you know, all in all, you know, this place wasn't very expensive. Uh, it's, you know, 750 euro for this, and then about, I forget how much for the beer. Not that much, like three or something. So I'm spending 10 euro, which is only a bit more than I spend in McDonald's. Which is crazy, McDonald's is expensive here. Uh, usually for lunch I get something that's like one euro from the central station. Um, which, I mean, which, 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 it's like a salami baguette. So that's usually what I get. But today I felt, you know, kind of like, you know, going out and uh, experiencing new things. I haven't really had a lot of German food, so that's 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 what I'm doing here. I'm gonna bite into this, um, whatever this is, potato dumpling. That's what it is. I have no idea what I'm eating. Uh, and. I don't know. Here it goes. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet, and it has little flakes on top. So it's really good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to film that, film the inside of this place, show you guys where I'm eating for lunch, and I'll and I'll describe more of it later when I put it up uh, on the internet. But. Um, that I was in the museum district today, walked around, went in two museums. Uh, I feel cultured, cultured enough to never go into a museum for the next three months. Um, uh, one of the museums was the uh, Tipotec, which is like Greek and Roman stuff, uh, and the other one is the uh, the Noi 
I, I, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it unless I had a book in front of me. But I went in there and it was like art. Um, a lot of art from the 18th, not 18th, 19th century. <clears throat> well, some of it was in the 18th century. 19th century, um, and it was it, it was interesting, um, to say the least. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm glad I went in there. I probably won't ever go back in. Or into the other one, any other two. There's two of them. There's two other ones. Probably won't go back in any in either of them. Um, like I said, I'm probably done with museums uh, for ever. But I'm done with Munich now. Done with not necessarily Munich. I, I still have to go to Olympia Park and maybe Nymphenburg, possibly. I don't know. Definitely Olympia Park. Um, and then, but other than, after I do that, I'll be done with Munich, uh, and I won't know what to do with myself. Hopefully, I'm going to try to space it, even it out. That way, I'm done with the city on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Because <laughs> um, I have I have Friday off of class, and I can just go wherever I want then. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully uh, I can find somewhere to go. Um, if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments on Facebook, since none of you comment on YouTube, almost none of you. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing all day, and this, what I'm, and this is what I'm about to do right now. So, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to eat some stomach and a potato dumpling and then drink some beer. Alright, see you tomorrow.